Now, live from Studio 8, this is CT Style. Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome to a Thursday edition of CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Sarah Cody. Now you're dressed for a cozy fallish day. Like I feel it might be tonight. And I'm today. dressed for Madonna. Because that's happening tonight at that's Madison Square tonight. Garden. That's happening tonight, not Madison Square Garden. No. Oh, okay. Little Opera House in Brooklyn. This oh, is like an really? intimate concert that I'm going to that's with way better than Madonna. Madison Square Garden. I know. I don't really know what to expect, but I'm excited. Up close and personal. Will you take yeah. lots of pictures for us? I will, but we did the story last <gasps> right, week. You're you not can't inside. <laughs> but we will ahead of time. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So does she have a new album, or are we hearing classics? She has classics? a new album. I think it's called Madame X. And I don't know about the classics. I'm going to have to fill you in when I'm back on Monday. Because wow. I'm taking tomorrow off. You it's should a do big that. night. It yeah. absolutely is. Yeah. That's like bucket list. Way to go. So Have too. so much fun. Thank you. We'll miss you tomorrow, though. Yeah. Um, all right. Meanwhile, we are having some fun on the show today. Pumpkin flavored gnocchis. Yeah. I mean, what's the better best. than that, right? Yeah. So, uh, Courtney's here from ShopRite. She's going to give us a recipe. Plus, we have two anti bullying advocates here to tell us about a special event. That's going to raise awareness through basketball. All right, I can't wait to hear about that. <laughs> um, first, a quick mention of an event happening Saturday that you're going to be going to with your pup. With right? my dog. Yeah. yeah, this is kind of cool. I feel like we all can use some extra blessings sure. now and again. And this event is happening in Middlebury. It's at St. George's Church, and it's their annual Blessing of the Animals. So okay. I've been here several times before. This is a free event. People bring their horses, their yep. guinea pigs, their chickens. It's a free for all. The priest blessed these animals. You get a little medallion, and it just makes everybody feel good. So that's yeah. happening uh, 12 to 2 on Saturday, St. George's Church. I'll be there around noontime with my dog, and uh, there's vendors. There's an adoption event happening, so hopefully we'll see you there. It's like Noah's Ark. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see your pictures. All right, you still have time to score this week's Living Local deal. You can get half off a $50 gift card for Chapter 1 in Guilford, but you need to act fast. Yeah, all you have to do is go to WTNH.com slash Living Local Deals. There are a few left, so okay. again, log on and get them. Always a good deal. All right, and we have more. We do. But wait, there's more. There's more. Starting this coming Monday, <laughs> you can get half off a $60 gift card to the New England Air Museum. Great place. Again, that deal launches on Monday at 12:30. Mark your calendars. Today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. So, trying to get drivers to slow down in her neighborhood has been kind of like chasing unicorns for one Ohio woman. Yeah, so guess what she did? To solve the problem, <laughs> she decided to dress like one. She's been donning a unicorn costume, unicorn costume, and holding a sign urging drivers to slow down near her kid's bus stop in Centerville. Now, the speed limit is 25 miles an hour, but she says many drivers break <laughs> it. The police are less excited about her campaign. They say her dancing and her costume. Can distract oh, yeah. drivers. I, I guess can see so. That. I can too. But interesting idea, and you know, trying to be a good mom. Good I'm citizen. sure her kids really appreciate I'm it. I'm sure also. they really don't. <laughs> uh, well, General Motors has unveiled a new convertible design for the Corvette with a hard top rather than a cloth roof. Hmm. The new fold away top is made from a lightweight composite material. It's powered by six small electric motors. Wow, that's happening while they're driving. I didn't know you could do that. That's okay. Impressive. So if you're caught in a rainstorm, you can just kind of I kind of like button that. Up. Yeah. The roof is down. It's stored in a compartment with heat shields to protect it from the engine. Okay, All right, well, good idea. I'll keep that in mind for yeah. our next Corvette. For our next Corvette. <laughs> a new program wants to make sure that every child has access to eye care and corrective eyewear. The ABSI program is visiting schools all across the country with its vision van to give eye care and glasses at no cost. Mm. Uh, these are for children in need. It's been proven to help students become twice as successful in school. Well, that makes sense, That's right? A great when idea. You can see yeah. The board. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids need glasses. The Vision Van has all the tools needed to make them from start to finish. Isn't that great? The kids even get to pick out the style that they want to wear. I think that's a great idea. Fantastic. It makes a huge difference. Yes. Were you were, did, were you a glassing glasses wearer? As not a when kid? I was a kid. I turned 40 and needed reading glasses like I think the rest of the world. I'm not there yet. You're not. But you we'll wear glasses I wear sometimes. glasses, but they're not like the reading glasses. Oh, okay. I wear the reading distance. glasses. You get a couple more <laughs> I'm years, sure it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Using an ATM will cost you a lot more than it did about 20 years ago. That's right. So according to a new survey, the average surcharge to non-customers to withdraw cash rose 2% over the past year to $3.09. Oh, my. The good news is, though, that the average fee charged by the customer's own bank for using a foreign ATM dipped down to $1.63. Yeah, I always do that. I go to the ones where I have to pay, and then I feel so I silly afterwards. It's such a waste of money. I know. 
It's convenience. I right? know. Yeah. All right. It's not your imagination. Spending time by the ocean is good for your well-being. You know that firsthand. Right? I I just go to the water and take a walk anytime I need to. And a new study of 26,000 people found that those living closer to England's coastline had better mental health than those who lived further inland. I completely believe it.